Hello, I'm Joe Wren. With retail gas prices reaching more than $3 per gallon, consumers may be looking for alternative transportation. But public transportation companies are also feeling the tug in their budgets. WTIU's Shamika Neely reports. Bloomington Transit has moved in recent years to hybrid bus technology, but 32 of its 38 buses still run on petroleum, meaning the company is subject to spikes in gas prices. Well, it, it is a double-edged sword for public transportation. Uh, we enjoy the benefit of having additional riders using public transportation, but at the same time, we're paying higher prices ourselves for fuel. The partnership between IU's bus service and Bloomington Transit is the second largest bus transportation system in the state. The two systems also partner to lock in fuel prices, especially when they're expected to rise as in the coming year. We do partner with Indiana University Campus Bus. We have always purchased our fuel together. And we currently are in a fixed price fuel contract where our price for fuel, diesel fuel, is locked in for an entire year at a time. We've got about three more months to go where our price is locked in. May also says that each of the company's six hybrid buses use 25% less fuel than their diesel counterparts. Reporting for WTIU News, I'm Shamika Neely. In 2008, the gas increased to more than $4 per gallon, and experts feel the increase will continue to rise this year. Statewide elected officials who won the November elections were sworn into office at the State House today. Among them were two incumbents, State Auditor Tim Berry and State Treasurer Richard Murdoch. The new Secretary of State, Charlie White, was also sworn in. He is under investigation into whether he committed voter fraud by voting at the precinct of his former residence to cover up the fact that he no longer lived in the Fishers Town Council seat he represented. And the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is advising consumers not to eat alfalfa sprouts or spicy sprouts from Tiny Greens Organic Farm of Urbana, Illinois, because of salmonella contamination. So far, there have been 10 confirmed cases in Indiana, with 90 others across Illinois, Missouri, and Iowa. According to officials, the sprouts were sold to Jimmy John's Sandwich Company, as well as various grocery stores and farmers, farmer markets across the Midwest. No deaths have been reported. Now checking the weather forecast for tonight, a 30% chance of snow, lows around 19 tomorrow, chance of snow with highs in the upper 20s. Snow continues tomorrow night with lows around 14 and in the five-day forecast on Saturday, mostly cloudy with highs in the mid-20s, 28 by Sunday with snow back in the forecast on Monday. And for more on these stories and other local news, go to indianapublicmedia.org.